Captain Iran of the Vril species was at his station on the bridge of the starship Vigilante. The ship was robust and dedicated to patrolling the far reaches of known space. The routine was monotonous, scanning the darkness for anomalous signals. One day, however, the ship's sensors detected something unexpected, an unidentified vessel emanating an unknown energy signature. Aeron, a veteran of many missions, felt a chill. The signature was human, a race that everyone believed had been extinct for millennia. The crew was in an uproar as the ship approached. The officers around Aaron nervously discussed the possible threats and the best way to approach the situation. Captain, what are we going to do? asked Talia, the communications officer, with wide eyes. Aaron took a deep breath and replied firmly, We're going to board the ship. We need to know what's going on. With a series of commands, the Star Watcher aligned herself with the mysterious ship and began transmitting a message of peace. To everyone's surprise, the ship responded, but in a dead language, the ancient human tongue. Tension rose on the bridge. Captain, they're responding in a language that our translators identify as human, said Talia, looking at Aaron uncertainly. Continue communication and prepare a boarding team, ordered Aaron. We'll investigate this closely. Determined to unravel the mystery, Aaron and his crew prepared for the approach. Dressed in their spacesuits, they floated through space to the unknown ship. They crossed the void to the human ship, its lights flickering softly in the dark. When they entered the ship, they were amazed. Inside, they found an environment full of advanced technology, far beyond anything the Vril had known. Aaron, this is incredible, commented Theron, the chief engineer, as he examined the glowing panels. I've never seen anything like it, Aaron nodded, his gaze fixed on a database in the center of the room. Let's see what we can find out, he said, starting to work on the controls. After a few minutes' work, he managed to access fragmentary information about human history and its wars. Captain, look at this, Talia called out, pointing to a screen showing records of ancient battles and technologies. Returning to the Star Watcher, Aaron was pensive. The discoveries they had made were only the beginning of a dangerous journey. This changes everything, he said, looking at his crew. We need to report this to command, but we also need to know more. Yes, Captain, replied Theron. But what do we do now? We'll keep investigating, said Aaron, resolutely. The truth is out there and we'll find it. Back on the Star Watcher, Aaron and his crew began to analyze the data collected from the human ship. The coordinates indicated a nearby planet, known to be home to ancient ruins. Determined to investigate, Aaron orders a trip to the planet to explore the ruins and look for more clues about the return of the humans. Captain, we're ready to go, informed Talia, her eyes fixed on the monitors. Excellent replied Aaron. Let's find out what these ruins hide. The journey was short, but their anxiety grew by the minute. When they finally reached the planet, the landscape was desolate, with scattered rocks and an almost stagnant atmosphere. The Star Watcher landed gently, raising a cloud of dust. Exploration team, get ready, ordered Aaron as he adjusted his helmet. We're going to investigate these ruins. Climbing down from the ship, Aaron, Talia, and Theron headed towards the complex of ruins visible in the distance. The path was difficult, with uneven terrain and loose stones. When they reached the ruins, they were impressed by the size and complexity of the structures. These scriptures? I've never seen anything like them, commented Theron, analyzing a wall covered in symbols. This must be human technology, said Aaron, examining a strange device stuck to the ground. We need to understand what's going on here. While Theron concentrated on deciphering the scriptures and the technology, Talia scanned the surroundings with her scanner. Suddenly, her device beeped. Captain, I'm detecting life signs nearby. Aaron frowned. Life? Here? Stay alert. We don't know what we might find. Continuing their exploration, the group found an entrance to an underground chamber. The interior was dark and cold, with narrow corridors and aged metal walls. As they entered the main chamber, the light from their flashlights revealed a large device in the center of the room. This looks important, said Theron, approaching the device. I'll try to activate it. With a light touch, the device began to glow, projecting a holographic image into the air. The figure of an ancient human commander appeared, his voice echoing through the chamber. If you're seeing this, it means our technology has been found. 
We are the last humans in hiding and waiting for the right moment to take back our place. The Rithar are our enemies and must be stopped at all costs. Aaron and his team listened in silence, absorbing every word. The message continued, revealing details about the past war and advanced human technology. This changes everything, said Aaron, looking at his companions. We need to take this information back. The whole galaxy could be in danger. I agree, Captain, replied Theron. But what do we do now? Let's go back to the Star Watcher and analyze this data carefully, decided Aaron. We need to be prepared for anything. Back on the ship, Aaron sat on the bridge, reflecting on what they had discovered. This is just the beginning. We have a long journey ahead of us. After analyzing the data from the ruins, Aaron realized that he would need allies to face the Rithar threat. He decides to seek help from the Black Star Pirates, known for their strength and resources. Aaron hatches a plan to locate Thorn, the leader of the pirates, and propose an alliance. We need help, said Aaron, looking at his team gathered on the bridge. The Rithar are too big a threat for us to face alone. Let's find the Black Star Pirates. Do you think Thorn will listen to us? asked Talia, worried. We have no choice, replied Aaron. He's our best chance. The Star Watcher began tracking the Black Star Pirates, following rumors and clues until she found a base hidden in an asteroid belt. Approaching undetected was a challenge. The crew had to navigate carefully, avoiding detection by the pirate's sensors. Captain, we're only a few kilometers from the base, reported Theron. But they have patrols everywhere. We'll use the cover of the asteroids, said Aaron. Stay out of sensor range. With skill and precision, Aaron and his team managed to approach the base without being seen. When they finally arrived, Aaron sent a message requesting an audience with Thorn. There was a long silence before a reply came. Captain Aaron, you have permission to dock, said a harsh voice over the communicator, but come unarmed. Upon entering the base, Aaron and his team were escorted through narrow corridors to a large room where Thorn awaited them. The leader of the pirates was imposing, with scars that told tales of many battles. You're brave to come here, Aaron, said Thorn with a cynical smile. What do you want? Evidence? Thorn crossed his arms, skeptical. And why should I care? The Rithar are a threat to us all, continued Aaron. If we don't unite, they'll destroy us, one by one. Look at the data we found. Theron projected the holographic message they had discovered in the ruins. Thorn watched intently, his face inexpressive. This is serious, muttered Thorn after the message had finished. But why trust you? Because we have no other choice, said Aaron. We need to join forces, or we will all perish. Thorn was silent for a moment, pondering. Finally, he nodded. Very well, Aaron, let's form an alliance, but know that I'll be watching you. Understood, replied Aaron, relieved. I appreciate that, Thorn. Together we can defeat the Rithar. With the alliance formed, Aaron and his crew returned to the Star Watch, ready to face the challenges ahead. The Rithar threat was real, but now they had new allies on their side. With the alliance with the Black Star Pirates established, Aaron and his crew began following clues about humans in unexplored areas of space. Guided by information obtained from Thorn, they set off on a new mission to find out more about human technology and the Rethar's intentions. We're ready to go, Captain, said Talia, looking at Aaron. Good. Follow the coordinates Thorn gave us, replied Aaron, watching the screen. We need to be on the lookout for any signs. The journey through unknown space was full of dangers and challenges. The Star Watcher encountered cosmic storms and regions of unstable gravity. During one of these storms, the ship was shaken violently and the alarm sounded. Captain, we're losing stability, shouted Theron as he struggled to maintain control. Everyone to their positions. Stay calm, Aaron ordered, holding onto his chair so as not to be thrown far. The cosmic storm was intense, with lightning flashing around the ship. Suddenly, a strong impact rocked the Star Watcher, causing lights to flicker and equipment to fail. We've got damage to the rear section, Captain, Theron informed us. We need urgent repairs. Aaron looked at his crew. We'll need to work together to fix this. Theron, coordinate the repairs. Talia, keep the sensors working. With a collective effort, the crew got to work. Everyone pulled together, doing their best to fix the ship in the midst of the storm. Theron led the repairs, adjusting and replacing damaged parts, while Talia monitored the sensors and maintained communication. Captain, we're managing to stabilize the ship, said Theron, sweat dripping down his face. 
A few more adjustments and we'll be ready. Good work, team, Aaron replied, relieved. Keep it up. After a few hours of intense work, the ship was operational again. The storm had passed, but it had left its mark. However, the crew felt more united and confident. We did it, said Talia, smiling. We're ready to continue. Good, let's move on, said Iran, feeling a new wave of hope. After overcoming the obstacles, Iran and his team finally arrived at an old battlefield. The site was littered with the wreckage of ships and signs of ancient battles. While exploring the field, they detected a distress signal. Captain, I'm picking up a distress signal coming from that direction, said Talia, pointing to a dot on the screen. Strange. Let's investigate, said Aaron. Be prepared for anything. The Star Watcher approached the source of the signal. When they arrived, they found a small ship that was partially destroyed but still functional. There were signs of life on board. Captain, there's someone alive inside, Theron informed them. Let's get that person on board, said Aaron. He may have important information. As they approached the damaged ship, they managed to open the hatch and find a survivor. It was a human, injured and weak, but still conscious. Who are you? asked Aaron, helping the man to his feet. My name is Jonas, replied the man in a weak voice. I'm the last survivor of my team. We need to talk. The Rithar are planning something big. Aaron felt a chill. Let's get you to the infirmary. You need to rest. As Jonas was taken away to be treated, Aaron knew that the mission had only just begun. The hope of discovering more about humans and defeating the Rithar motivated them to keep going, despite the dangers. After rescuing Jonas, Aaron and his crew began to tend to his wounds. They took him to the Star Watcher's infirmary, and Talia was in charge of monitoring his vital signs. After a while, Jonas was stable enough to talk. Who are you? asked Aaron, sitting next to Jonas's bed. My name is Jonas, replied the man, his voice weak. I'm the last survivor of a team sent to explore this ancient battlefield. We need to talk about the Rithar. What do you know about them? asked Aaron, curious. Jonas took a deep breath before answering. The Rithar are planning a major offensive. They want to take over the galaxy and are willing to use any means to do so. We humans have been hiding for a long time, but we can't wait any longer. We have a secret base where we are preparing for war. Aaron frowned. Secret base? Where is this base? It's located in a distant system off the main routes, said Jonas. We've developed advanced technologies to fight the Rithar. We need to band together to stand a chance against them. Aaron's crew listened intently as Jonas continued his story. He told how the humans survived in hiding, always on the lookout, developing technologies that kept them hidden and ready to fight. Jonas revealed the location of the secret base where the humans were preparing for war. If we can get to that base, we can form a stronger alliance, said Aaron, thinking aloud. Jonas, can you take us there? Jonas nodded. Yes, I can, but we need to be quick. The Rethar won't wait. With Jonas recovered enough to travel, Aaron gathered his crew on the bridge. We're heading for the human's secret base. Get ready to leave. The journey was full of expectations and uncertainty. With each jump through hyperspace, the tension grew. Aaron and his crew were aware of what was at stake. Finally, after several days of travel, they arrived at the system indicated by Jonas. Captain, I'm detecting a fleet of ships ahead of us, informed Talia. It looks like they're human ships. Jonas was right, said Aaron, feeling a mixture of relief and apprehension. Let's approach with caution. As they approached, they were greeted by a transmission from the fleet's lead ship. Identify yourselves, said an authoritative voice. I'm Captain Aaron of the Starship Vigilante, replied Aaron. We have Jonas on board. He brought us here. There was a brief pause before the reply. Understood. Accompany us to the base. They followed the fleet to a large space station hidden in an asteroid belt. When they docked, they were met by a team of armed but friendly humans. Aaron and Jonas were taken to a conference room where they found human leaders waiting for them. Jonas told us that you have important information, said one of the leaders. We're looking forward to hearing it. Aaron and Jonas shared everything they knew about the Rythar and the plans they had discovered. The human leaders listened attentively, understanding the gravity of the situation. We need to join forces, said Aaron. Together, we have a chance of defeating the Rythar. The human leaders agreed. 
Let's work together. This may be our only hope. Aaron felt he was about to discover something monumental that could change the course of the war against the Rhythar. With the alliance in place, he knew that the challenges ahead would be many, but he was also confident that united, they would have a chance of winning. With the alliance formed between the Vril, the humans, and the Black Star pirates, Aaron and his crew began preparations for the battle against the Rithar. They shared technology and strategies, and the secret human base became a center for planning and intensive training. Aaron, we have a lot of work to do, said Thorn, leader of the pirates, looking at the plan spread out on the table. We need to integrate our forces quickly. I agree, replied Aaron. Let's start with exchanging technologies. We need to understand human weapons and defenses. The secret base was buzzing with activity. Vril, humans, and pirates were working together, sharing knowledge and preparing their ships for the imminent battle. The sound of tools and discussions echoed through the corridors. Aaron and his team had undergone rigorous training. They learned how to operate the humans' advanced technology, which included new types of shields and weapons. Jonas, now recovered, became a key figure, sharing his knowledge and experience with everyone. This weapon is very powerful, said Theron, amazed as he tested a new laser cannon. I've never seen anything like it. And that's just the beginning, replied Jonas. We have a lot more to show. Meanwhile, tension grew between the different factions. The pirates distrusted the humans, and the Vril were nervous about the pirates' presence. Aaron needed to mediate conflicts to keep the alliance together. We need to work together, said Aaron at a meeting with the leaders of the three factions. If we're not a team, we won't stand a chance against the Rethar. I agree, said Thorn reluctantly, but it's hard to trust old enemies. If we want to survive, we have no choice replied Aaron firmly. As the weeks passed, preparations progressed. The secret base was full of ships ready for battle. The crews were trained and the strategies defined. The tension in the air was visible, but there was also a sense of hope. Aaron, we've received information on the location of the main Rethar fleet, said Talia, hurrying into the command room. They're gathering in the Dracor system. This is it, said Aaron, looking at the assembled leaders. It's time to act. The ships were armed and the crews ready. Aaron walked across the bridge of the Star Watcher, watching his team in action. Everyone was focused and determined to win the battle. Everyone to your stations, ordered Aaron. Let's show the Rithar that we're not messing around. The fleet set off towards the Dracor system. During the journey, tension grew. Everyone knew that the battle would decide the fate of the galaxy. Captain, we're approaching the Dracor system, informed Talia. The Rithar ships are ahead of us. Aaron looked at the main viewer where he could see the enemy fleet. Prepare for combat, he said firmly. The battle that will decide the future of us all is about to begin. The Allied fleet arrived in the Dracor system and encountered the main Rythar fleet. Aaron stood on the bridge of the Star Watcher, looking at the vast collection of enemy ships in front of him. He knew this was the decisive moment. Everyone to your stations, ordered Aaron. Prepare for the coordinated attack. The ships moved into position, forming a battle line. The commanders of the different factions adjusted their final strategies. Humans, Vril, and pirates worked together, sharing information and plans. We're ready, Captain, said Talia, watching the monitors. The ships are in position. Excellent, replied Aaron. Let's show the Rithar what we're capable of. The battle began in earnest. Both fleets exchanged powerful fire, filling the space with light and destruction. Aaron watched intently, coordinating his fleet's movements. Captain, we have enemies approaching from the right flank, warned Theron. They're trying to surround us. They won't succeed, said Aaron, adjusting his commands. Divert the main force to the right flank. We'll counterattack. The Star Watcher rocked with the impact of several enemy shots. Lights flashed and alarms sounded as the crew worked frantically to keep the ship operational. We're taking significant damage, Captain, Talia reported, concern in her voice. Hold tight, ordered Aaron. We can't give up now. The battle was still fierce. The Rithar were launching surprise attacks, but cooperation between the Vril, humans, and pirates was proving essential to maintaining resistance. Each faction used its unique strengths to cover the other's weaknesses. Captain, we need a new strategy, said Thorn over the comm. They're wearing us down. Aaron knew Thorn was right. He looked at the data on the screen, searching for a solution. Let's focus on the Rithar mothership, he finally said. If we manage to destroy it, We'll destabilize their entire fleet. That's too risky, said Jonas, who was on the bridge next to Aaron. But it could work. We'll do it, 
said Aaron with conviction. Theron, prepare the main cannon. Talia, coordinate with the other ships. We need all forces combined. The Allied ships began to concentrate around the Rethar mothership. The Star Watcher was leading the attack, firing its main cannon at full power. Hang on, shouted Aaron as the ship rocked with the recoil of the shot. The shot hit the Rithar mothership, causing a massive explosion. The other Allied ships followed suit, firing their combined weapons, the space around them filled with light and debris. We're succeeding, said Theron with a smile. Their mothership is destabilized, but the battle was not yet won. The remaining Rithar ships continued to fight fiercely, trying to protect their damaged mothership. Don't give up now, ordered Aaron. We're almost there. With a final effort, the Allied ships launched a concentrated attack. The Rithar mothership finally exploded, sending a shockwave across the battlefield. The enemy ships began to retreat, disorganized, and defeated. We did it, said Talia with relief. The Rithar fleet is retreating. Good work, team, replied Aaron, feeling the weight of tension ease. But keep your guard up. The battle may be won, but the war isn't over yet. With victory achieved, Aaron knew they would have to keep fighting. But for now, they had taken a big step towards protecting the galaxy. After the victory in the Dracor system, Aaron and his crew returned to the secret base to assess the damage and plan the next steps. There was a sense of relief and celebration among the factions, but also an awareness that the war was not yet over. Aaron, we did it, said Talia with a tired smile, but we still have a lot of work to do. Yes, Talia, let's enjoy this moment, but we can't let our guard down, replied Aaron. We need to prepare for the next confrontation. At the secret base, the ships began to be repaired. Engineers and technicians worked tirelessly, replacing damaged parts and upgrading systems. Aaron organized meetings with the Allied leaders to discuss the next phase of the war. We need a solid strategy, said Aaron, looking at the assembled human, Vril, and pirate commanders. Jonas, what can you tell us about the next Rithar targets? Jonas stood up, projecting a star map. The Rithar have several advanced bases, he explained, pointing to the dots on the map. If we can attack those bases, we'll weaken their supply and command lines. Good idea, said Thorn, the leader of the pirates, but we need to make sure our ships are in perfect condition. Meanwhile, new technologies were integrated into the Allied ships. Theron led the team of engineers working on improvements that would make the ships more resistant and effective. Aaron, these new weapons should give us an advantage, said Theron, showing an advanced prototype cannon. We still need more tests, but the results are promising. Great work, Theron, replied Aaron. Keep it up. The secret base became a center for reconstruction and preparation. Teams trained daily, simulating battles and adjusting strategies. There was a sense of urgency, but also camaraderie between the different factions. We're more united than ever, said Aaron at one meeting. We need to maintain this unity if we want to win. With their strength restored and new strategies in mind, Aaron and his allies prepared for the next step in the fight against the Rithar. Each ship was equipped with the latest technology, and every crew member was ready for combat. We've received information that the Rithar are reinforcing their defenses in the Natrix system, said Jonas, entering the command room. If we can strike now, we can catch them off guard. This is our chance, said Aaron, looking at the assembled leaders. Let's get ready to leave. The base was in full swing. Ships were fueled, weapons were loaded, and crews were ready for action. Aaron walked across the bridge of the Star Watcher, feeling the tension in the air. Everyone ready? He asked. Ready, Captain, replied Talia confidently. Then let's go, said Aaron, giving the order to depart. As the fleet prepared to jump through hyperspace, Aaron felt a mixture of anxiety and hope. He knew that the battle ahead would be difficult, but he also knew that they were stronger and more united than ever. This is our chance to change the course of the war, said Aaron, looking at the main viewer. Let's give it our all. With the ships in formation, the Allied fleet sprinted towards the Natrix system, ready to face the Rethar once again. The Allied fleet arrived in the Natrix system and found a heavily fortified Rethar base. The defenses were well established, with plasma cannons and energy shields covering the structure. Aaron knew that a direct attack would result in heavy losses. We have to be strategic, said Aaron to his officers in the command room. A sneak infiltration is our best chance. Who will lead the team? 
asked Thorne, looking at the hologram of the base. I will, replied Aaron. I'll choose a small team. We'll disable the main defenses and then our fleet can attack. The team selection was quick. Aaron chose Talia, Theron, and Jonas, each with essential skills for the mission. Equipped with stealth suits and disabling devices, the team prepared for the mission. Be quick and silent, instructed Aaron as he adjusted his helmet. Any mistake could cost us our lives. The small stealth ship approached the Rithar base, taking advantage of a gap in the enemy patrols. As they approached, they used cloaking devices to blend into the dark environment of space. We're in, whispered Talia as she deactivated the entry hatch. The team entered the base, moving carefully through the metal corridors. The base was a maze of tunnels and chambers. At every step, they faced new challenges. Theron deactivated several electronic traps that could alert the Rithar. Aaron, there's a patrol approaching, warned Jonas, watching the motion scanner. Get down and wait, ordered Aaron. They hid in the shadows while the patrol passed. When the way was clear, they continued their journey to the main control room. Tension was high, but the team moved with precision. Finally, they reached the control room. Talia began working on the panels, trying to access the defense system. We have little time, said Theron, keeping guard at the entrance. We need to be quick. However, the alarm sounded before Talia could complete the deactivation. We've been discovered, she shouted. Rythar soldiers burst into the room and an intense battle began. Aaron and his team fought with all their might, using their advanced weapons to keep the enemies at bay. Keep working, Talia, shouted Aaron, blocking a blow from a Rethar soldier. Almost there, replied Talia, typing frantically. The battle was fierce, but Aaron and his team were determined. Theron launched shock grenades, temporarily incapacitating the enemy soldiers. Jonas used his hand-to-hand -hand combat skills to take down the Rithar, who came too close. I did it, exclaimed Talia, finally disabling the base's defenses. The defenses are down. Great job, said Aaron. Now let's get out of here. With the defenses down, the Allied fleet began its all-out attack. Vril, human, and pirate ships advanced, firing their combined weapons at the Rithar base. The structure shook with the intensity of the attack. Aaron and his team fought their way back to the stealth ship, avoiding the Rithar soldiers who were still active. Finally, they managed to escape and return to the Star Watcher. Captain, the base's defenses have been compromised, informed Talia as they returned to the ship. Our forces are advancing. Excellent, replied Aaron. We'll support the attack. The battle outside was still fierce. The Allied ships, now with the advantage, managed to defeat the Rithar forces and capture the base. Explosions lit up the space as enemy structures collapsed. We did it, said Thorne over the comm. The Rithar base is ours. Aaron felt a mixture of relief and exhaustion. Well done, everyone. This victory is crucial, but we can't rest. The war isn't over yet. As the Allied fleet began to secure the captured base, Aaron knew they would have to keep fighting, but for now they had taken a big step towards peace. With the capture of the Rythar base, Aaron and his allies began to prepare for the final confrontation. Information obtained from the captured base indicated the location of the Rythar headquarters. Knowing that this could be the decisive battle, the Allied fleet gathered to plan a massive attack. We have the location of the Rythar headquarters, said Jonas during a strategy meeting. If we can destroy that base, we can end the threat once and for all. We need a solid plan, said Thorne, looking at the holograms of the enemy system. We can't afford to fail. Aaron nodded. Let's mobilize all our forces. This is our chance to bring peace to the galaxy. The journey to the Rithar headquarters was tense. Everyone was aware of the importance of the mission and what was at stake. On the bridge of the Star Watcher, Aaron stared into space ahead, his thoughts focused on the impending battle. We're ready, Captain, said Talia, interrupting his thoughts. The fleet is in position. Thank you, Talia, replied Aaron. Let everyone know that we will fight to the bitter end. When they reached the enemy system, they encountered fierce resistance. The Rethar ships were prepared and launched an immediate attack. The battle began with a bang, with Allied and Rethar ships exchanging powerful blows. Aaron, we're being attacked from all sides, shouted Theron, trying to keep the ship steady. Hold formation, ordered Aaron. Focus on their weak points. The Star Watcher maneuvered deftly through the battlefield, avoiding enemy fire and retaliating with force. The Allied ships, using the combined technology of the Vril humans and pirates, were fighting bravely. 
However, the Rethar didn't make it easy. Captain, we need a new strategy, said Jonas, analyzing the battle data. Their shields are stronger than we expected, Aaron thought quickly. Let's divide our forces. One team will attack the shields while the other will focus on the weapon systems. We'll destabilize them. The battle was still intense, but Aaron's strategy was beginning to pay off. The Allied ships managed to break through the Rythar shields, and the enemy defenses began to weaken. Even so, the resistance was immense. We're almost there, said Talia with hope in her voice. Just a little more. Aaron knew they needed a decisive blow. Prepare for the final attack, he ordered. We're going to strike a direct blow at headquarters. The Allied fleet concentrated all its firepower on the Rithar base. The structure began to crumble under the pressure of the continuous attacks. Explosions lit up the space, and the Rithar, realizing their imminent defeat, began to retreat. We did it, shouted Thorne over the comm. The base is collapsing. Aaron felt a wave of relief, but knew they couldn't be distracted. Hold formation. We need to make sure all the enemies retreat. With the Rythar base destroyed and the enemy forces retreating, the galaxy began to prepare for a new dawn. Aaron and his crew reflected on the sacrifices they had made and the future they had helped shape. Today we have won a great battle, Aaron told his crew, but we must never forget the sacrifices that were made. May this be the beginning of an era of peace. Everyone on the bridge nodded, sharing the feeling of accomplishment and hope. The war was not yet completely over, but the biggest obstacle had been overcome. The galaxy, now united, could face any challenge that came its way. With the destruction of the Rithar headquarters, the galaxy began to recover from the horrors of war. Aaron and his crew were welcomed as heroes on their return to the Allied base. There were celebrations everywhere, with music, laughter and hugs between soldiers and civilians. People were relieved and happy to finally have a moment of peace. Aaron, you did it! said Talia, hugging the captain. We're all very grateful. Aaron smiled, but his eyes reflected the memory of those who had fallen. It was everyone's effort, he replied, and we can't forget the sacrifices that were made. A ceremony was held to honor those who had fallen in battle. A silent crowd gathered, and Aaron gave an emotional speech, recalling the courage and bravery of his comrades. May their sacrifices not be in vain, he said. May we work together to ensure that the peace we have won is lasting. After the ceremony, the faction leaders met to discuss the future. It was a crucial moment to make important decisions about reconstruction and peacekeeping. We need to ensure that something like this never happens again, said Thorne, looking at the other leaders. We need a system that maintains peace and order. I agree, said Jonas. We should form an intergalactic council where all species have a voice. Aaron, you have everyone's trust, said one of the human leaders. You must help form this council. Aaron nodded, accepting the new mission. I will do my best to ensure that the peace we have won is lasting, he promised. While the leaders discussed the details of the new council, the Allied base became a hub of activity. Engineers and builders worked on rebuilding the areas destroyed by the war. Scientists collaborated to develop new technologies that would help keep the peace. Aaron and his crew were also involved in the preparations. We're building a better future, said Theron, adjusting a device. It's good to see everyone working together. Yes, replied Talia, smiling. We're making history. In time, the new Intergalactic Council was formed. Representatives of all species came together to discuss and solve problems peacefully. There was a new sense of unity and purpose in the galaxy. As the galaxy moved towards a brighter future, Aaron and his crew prepared for new adventures. They knew there would always be challenges, but they were ready to face them together. What will our next mission be, Captain? asked Talia, curious. Aaron stared into space through the bridge window, thinking about the future. I don't know yet, Talia, he replied, but I know we'll be ready for anything. With a renewed sense of purpose, they set off on a new mission, determined to protect the peace they had sacrificed so much to achieve. The Star Watcher sailed through space, a beacon of hope in a galaxy that was beginning to heal. Aaron reflected on everything they had been through. He knew that, despite the battles and the losses, they had made a difference. And now, they had the chance to build a better future for all species. Let's keep fighting for what we believe in, said Aaron, looking at his crew.
because peace is worth any sacrifice. Everyone nodded, feeling the same conviction. The galaxy was at peace, but their work would never end. Aaron knew that there would always be more adventures, more challenges, and he was ready to face them, with his friends by his side. As the ship moved through space, Aaron felt a surge of hope. The future was before them, full of possibilities, and together they would make that future a better place for everyone. And so, with the galaxy at peace and a new dawn on the horizon, Aaron and his crew moved on, ready for anything that came their way. The war was over, but the real journey was just beginning.